things. Might you be interested in the moment for chat? You're a long way from Ophir. A long way, and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered, and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes, a town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate, for one among them is he, a runewright. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Fury mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. Our contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. 
The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race.